All right, what's going on everybody? Up here at the property today, we're gonna to be working on a table for the missus. It's gonna go on this side of the wall, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I have no idea where it's going. But, uh, so we're gonna get a table. That, at least that's the plan. So things never seem to go right. Today I wanted to bring that Alaskan chainsaw mill up and mill the a tree that had fell in the back. Good thing I had planks because I completely forgot to mill at home. So now these just needed to be cut to size and we were able to get started with the project. I'll tell you what, it sure was cold today. I think the temperature was around 16 degrees uh, at the time of this filming. Everything just seemed to want to freeze to the, the wood. So the idea is to take this log, this log's like three and a half inches, and rip it down the middle, and then the flat edges we will put on the back side of this. step was to plane the wood for the top. Now we could do this with a hand draw or a hand plane. However, I wanted to test a small generator that I got from a buddy. So it just made sense to run the electronic planer down the wood just to kind of make them fit together a little nicer and uh, give it the look that we were looking for. All right, well, we got the boards planed on the edges. So they're gonna sit relatively nice. Um, we weren't looking for perfect. And it looks like this one has a lot taken out in the middle, but that's okay. So we got the some extra common nails for framing. They're three inch, but that's all we have. It's gonna probably be a little longer than I want. So somehow, I think I'm, somehow I got to Hmm. This is a little harder than I thought. I'm going to have to lay it down and then lay the boards on. All right. I had a brain fart. I guess let's see. The idea is to take it and do something like this. There you have it. So I'm debating. I don't know if I want to mill this down or not. I don't think I'm going to. All right. So we ended up picking up <clears throat> this log. It's 
probably around 18 inches or so uh, 16 to 18 inches I'm hoping that's going to be wide enough <clears throat> to have one solid uh, just trunk in the middle and not have the table want to tip over I don't now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it's too small oh my gosh um, but we'll put some legs on it if we have to like little uh, pieces of wood to kind of brace it in and we'll do the same for the top too and I think that should be plenty for this little table that we are building so now we just have to determine what height we wanted at and I'm really thinking like right at thigh so we'll get out and measure it and get to cutting I think we're gonna go about 29 inches at first, at least the first cut. doesn't look anything like I pictured it. Maybe it's, I'm just imagining trying to move this thing with the flimsy boards up top <laughs> and that at the bottom. It'd be cool if that was the root base, but I don't have anything like that right now. Oh, what are we going to do? I think we might go with this. I don't know. I mean, as long as that's on the floor, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I I don't know. I It just looks funky to me. <laughs> oh, man. What are we going to do? Well, after stripping the bark off of it and getting it inside where it was actually somewhat level, you can see clearly my cuts weren't level. So what I did is just put a level on it and we took the planer and kind of drilled it down and skimmed off the top and we made it as flat as possible. And that's really where we wrapped up this build. Uh, you can see here that we just put some normal nails in. And I think what we're going to do is put feet on the bottom with some branches and obviously cut the sides to make them a little cleaner. One of the worst parts of the night, going home. Ah, it's bittersweet. We've got uh, our entire lives, but it just sucks every day you got to go home. Well, we burned a lot, had a friend come up today, built a table, and <clears throat> just got a lot of stuff done. So, it's good. She actually cleaned up a lot of this back area, back here behind the cabin. We dropped a lot of trees, and they were just cleaning brush, and this is all that's left. I would uh, let it burn down. However, I got to get out of here too, so I'm going to get some snow on it, and head out. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you're notified when any new video comes out. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What can we improve? Maybe some feedback on what happened here in the video. Until then, stay safe, get outside, and I will see you guys next time. Be sure to check back for part two of this where we're actually going to clean this up. We're going to put legs on it and we're going to make it sturdy. And we may even use some of our birch oil that we made to stain it and make it look nice.